From those with nothing, everything will be taken, while to those with everything, everything will be given. That is the most California quote out there. It's straight from the Bible, and a lot of people out here definitely need to read the Bible. But it's true. Life is going to kick you while you're down. A predator isn't going to attack a deer that's doing well. It's going to find a sickly deer and literally just kill it. You want to talk about getting kicked while you're down? Imagine getting eaten while you're down. That is nature, man. Nature is scary, dude. (laughs) And we are not immune to nature. We are nature. We live within it. We are within the yin and the yang. We are within the Tao. And that's just the truth of life. And I'm realizing this more and more. I have to get something, otherwise I'm just gonna completely lose it all. I'm noticing this now. I'm losing my car pretty soon. I don't have a job. I don't have a home. I'm just gonna absolutely descend into the pits of hell in reality and I'm gonna be on the street if I don't change something. So here I am now. With this college degree I don't care about and most likely can't even use anymore because it's been four years out of my field. I can't get a job in videography for whatever reason. I've applied to 200 plus jobs and nobody cares. I have a whole resume, I have a website. It's just not going anywhere. I've just kind of come to terms with the fact that I'm probably not gonna get a job in videography. So here I am starting from absolute square one, and I'm not joking, I mean literally high school square one. I'm applying to jobs at Trader Joe's, Amazon Warehouse, you name it, I'm applying to literally every entry level job out there because I'm realizing this quote is so true. I'm a sick deer right now, and life is a predator, and life sees me as vulnerable, and it's taking everything from me slowly but surely. My name is Sage Sullivan. I was born and raised here in Steamboat Springs. I left town for about seven years. I went to college and I lived in Oregon. And uh, I moved back probably a year and a half, two years ago. And um, I had a friend send me the artist call uh, in the newspaper. And I decided to write a proposal, kind of thinking, oh, I'll submit to this and it'll be fun. But I didn't think that anything would really come of it. And uh, then I got a call and an interview, and now I'm here, and I'm almost done with it. Um, I have just kind of finishing up the branches, and uh, the flower vessels are being cast in resin, and I'm about to pick those up. But um, for the commission, I started with a proposal. I wrote an artist statement, a proposal, a timeline, and a budget. Um, and. I found out afterwards that there was about 20 other artists who had submitted uh, and they did end up picking mine, which was a blind interview. Um, And then later they found out, I guess, how local I am and they really liked that aspect of it as well. The prompt is, what makes you feel welcome in the mountains? And uh, when I was living in Oregon, I noticed we didn't have as much alpine glow. There wasn't as much aspen trees and the wildflowers were different because we weren't in the Rocky Mountains anymore. Uh, And those were kind of the three themes that I was going with. There's a lot of underlying themes throughout the whole thing, like the teepee shape of the base and the aspen trees are all about being stewards of the earth and um, the connection that the aspen trees have with each other in each individual grove. And the horseshoes that are the aspen trees are indicative of westward expansion and the west, like we are here, that we're very western with a lot of skiing. And uh, then I have the wildflower aspect, which is also indicative of the LGBTQ AI plus community that they're indigenous flowers um, planted here not to be messed with and they flourish on their own just like they're supposed to, as well as the indigenous community. And that's a reference to the teepee as well. Um, and it's been going really well, honestly, better than I expected. Um, I've had a few people come out and they're impressed, which as am I, that I've made it this far. And um, everyone is kind of like, how did you know this was gonna work? And I didn't know it was gonna work at all. I just thought that the horseshoes looked like uh, aspen tree eyes and it turns out they're malleable enough to shape. And um, I've learned a lot about metal working uh, and I feel pretty confident in my skills now, but I think that each thing that I've learned really just 
relates back and uh, lends itself to my original proposal and artist statement. So it's kind of turning out better than I expected. If you guys are in the same position, I think the only thing we can do is fight. We have to get out of it. We can't just succumb to our weaknesses. We have to overcome them. And if you guys are in this situation, which I assume most of you probably aren't, most of you probably have a job, you have a career, you might even have a home, a family, a wife, who knows? Just stick to that. Everything will be continually given to you. It's gonna continue coming. As for the rest of us, let's get through it. <laughs> That's my lesson for today. If you're a weak deer, you're gonna get attacked. And I'm a weak deer right now, but I'm trying to fight back. I'm trying to get healthy. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be a little healthier. That's my message, guys. See you later.